Hey everybody, uh, not a review. I, got, I made this out in my garage today, and uh, guy wanted me to make a little video of it. So here it is. This is my first attempt at a steampunk mod, uh, made out of copper, obviously. Uh, just the stuff on the outside, just different decorations, kind of give it a steampunk feel. Got a little gear soldered onto the end of it. Nice little side push button. Nice, the, the button, I can't really tell you how nice that button actually turned out. It just, it's a little wobbly, but the throw is just beautiful. And it's almost, you know, it's clicky. It feels like it's a, a box mod kind of button, but it's not. It's just a spring and a post. You got uh, a little Nimbus on here which I hit with a torch to give it kind of a brown, tan, uh, goldish look, just kind of match a little bit. And then this is an old drip tip that I fired a long time ago. And I don't have an ohm reader right now, so I have no idea what these are actually firing at, but I'm assuming it's about a 0.6 build. I'm not sure what it is for sure, but that's pretty much the gist of it. It just slides apart. Battery sits in there. I got a little O-ring I put on there just for some battery wobble. Um, there's the inside guts of the button. That's all it is to it. Just a little side fire. Up inside, we've got a adjustable screw up there for atomizer. Don't really need anything for battery wobble other than the the O-ring kind of helps, just for the fact that it slides together. And there you can hear it hit the battery. No wobble, no rattle. Nice little fire button. And it just kicks it out. I'm loving this right here, rocking some uh, Carpe Diem. Little uh, caramel my apple. And that's it. Trip six creations, first ever steampunk mod. We'll be trying to make more in the future, so stay tuned.